2-3 zone, full court pressure, trapping man-to-man. -man. They're all going to be aggressive. Nice feed from Brooks and the Hegner, and the jumper's good. Going after last year, of course, losing the player of the year, and his son, Doug McDermott, along with three other valuable starters, returning just one starter in Chapman, but didn't seem like it really hurt them the other night. Here's a jumper by Hegner, and he's got, everybody has been talking about him needing to do everything almost, it seems like, as Brooks drives in for two. With his first, team second. We played three minutes so far here in the first half. Alley, you count it to Artino on the feed from Kreklo. This game on Friday night. Got Central Arkansas napping a couple of times. Kreklo for three, no. Nice follow by Hegner. That one of the toughest things to do at 15 20 to go in this first half. 10 to 3, Creighton. Again, inside, Chapman. And what a night or an afternoon so far for them to. Chapman has the look for three. Drains it. See that little stutter step just to get his back? Ten to shoot. No can. Zierden got a good look. And he knocks it down. Yourself into trouble when you're switching out there one and he's gotten off to a great start here in the early goal jeffrey grossell has checked in for zach hansen another three counted for zierden look out rosenberg miss fires brooks quickly here comes zierden he's hit two threes already and does it again heads up you talked about him with me beforehand. He's a shooter. Yeah, he's a great shooter. Made about 40 threes, 39 threes in junior college. He's a long range bomb. Press. Artino, the big man, the seniors back in for Grossell. And here's a steal. Artino. Right to the basket. Count it. And one. I will shoot. Milliken bouncing inside Artino. Got it back. And finishes. Right now with Chapman to be fine, but traveling, going out, especially with the style they play, variety of defenses, pressing. It's going to take a lot out of it. Grossell sticking with it for Creighton inside. You really got to come and get him out of there as Grossell was kind of half-hearted trying to dig it out. Milliken count it. James Milliken for three. The left hand. Four seconds left for that. Here's Hegner, good of a goes, count it! Toby Hegner at the buzzer for three for Creighton. What a way to end the first half. Blue Jays lead it by 18, 45 to 27. Coach McDermott said he was up to 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning after Friday night's victory. And they practiced Saturday at 1 o'clock yesterday. And then here they are with the game. Nice shot here by Isaiah Zierden in the 48-32 Creighton. Nine-point lead. After Palmer misfires a three. Here's Milliken. Almost a six-point sweat. Three, you probably need to pull it out and get a good one. Zierden might shut me up. But it does. <laughs> Talk too much about him. He's had foul trouble here today. Two fouls early in the first half. Picked up one quick one here in the second half. Artino double team against it, and he scores. Good patience. You got to check the pulse of the game. Sometimes you got to recognize when you need good possession, when you need to go inside, and here's a good one where you can let it fly. Chapman can help you do that. Finds a wide open Hegner. They win inside. Here is the pressure. A lot of Cougars. Chapman in the backcourt. Fires it over, Artino finds a cutting, Milliken! And that's what you have to do, make teams pay. Chapman has the screen from Hegner. Ten to shoot, Hegner launches, wow! And what can he do when you have a 6-10? A year ago, but eight and eight in the whack. Fourth place, their inaugural season in the league. Artino finishes for Crane back up by 21. Just about sustaining it for a longer period of time. What a feed by Milliken. And Artino.
Valentino continues. If the stars were aligned, you never know. Absolutely. There's a steal. Zerden. 18 points for Zerden. And it's about his family, how he's feeling. And Greg McDermott knew when to put on the coaching hat, when to put on the father figure hat. He did that today. And Gilmore feeds it to Tyler Clement, who hits a three, and a red-shirted freshman.